Hi everybody, I'm Brittany with Home and Haven Farms and today I thought that I would attempt to film my morning chores for Calico. For those of you who've been following our journey, Calico is the one and only surviving piglet um, of a litter that we had about a little over a month ago now. Um, and he has quite a picky palate. We've been trying to um, get him onto pig feed and he's not a fan. So I have his milk that we're trying to wean him from. And then what I've been calling his slop. It's a mixture of pig feed, oats, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and molasses. And also bentonite clay because it has a lot of good minerals. So today is Wendy and we're going to head over right now to our neighbor Carl's. He's presently housing um, our turkeys, a goose, two of our dogs, and calico. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go. Where there's a lot of wind. <laughs> Calico! Hi, Kelly! Hi, Mr. Pig! He is ready to get out. We've been blocking him. We've been blocking him in here because he's been escaping and getting into the neighbor's yard. We've been worried about him uh, not being able to get back in. Alright, I'll see if that holds up. Okay, Mr. Pig. Hi, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Hello, Calico. Hi, mister. How you doing? Where's that milk? Oh, no. Well, Kelly. It looks like you're gonna have to eat your food for now. Well, Calico spilled all of his milk, so I have to go back home and mix up some more. Here he is. Whoops. There he goes. Wanting to drink the milk that he spilled. But we ain't gonna cry over it. We're gonna go make some more and get back to him. Alrighty, round two. Take two. This time we are going to hold the container while he feeds. Alright, come here Calico. Right here Mr. Pig. Callie. Right here. That's about that, mister. Suck that down like a vacuum. Oh, does your tummy feel better? You're gonna have to eat your feet. Alrighty, well, mission complete. I guess while we're here, we'll show his little setup. So Calico has finally transitioned to being outside all the time, no matter the weather. Um, for now, we've got an IBC tote that, you know, we cut a door out of. The door was smaller because we did brood turkeys and chicks in this one, I believe. Um, but that obviously wasn't going to work for Calico. So um, it's a very sturdy material. Um, and then we are doing like a deep litter bed method where you just add lots of straw. And as they compact it down, like Calico, as he sleeps and burrows in there and whatnot, he'll pick one spot to go to the bathroom. We just cover it more and more with um, hay or straw 
and it helps to prevent the smell, it helps to absorb gunk, and then when he's all finished with the brooder, we'll pull him out and then clean out this IBC tote, and all of that bedding will just go straight into probably one of my hookle beds or little garden beds where I have, um, because just all of the urine and feces, honestly, it's just good plant food. <laughs> so... That was that for today. I still have to go feed the dogs, but I'll probably do a video about that maybe when I have to water them and the pigs again um, sometime soon. All right, well, if you got through this and if I successfully strewn these video clips together and edited everything, uh, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thanks.